Hello my dear brothers, and my dear sisters, may God bless you all. Brothers and sisters, today I would like to share with you Psalm 63, an inspiring psalm found in the book of Psalms in the Holy Bible. This psalm, attributed to King David, expresses a deep spiritual quest and an intense thirst for God. In Psalm 63, David tells us of his longing for God, comparing his spiritual need to the thirst felt in a dry, weary, waterless land. He recognizes that God is his God and seeks the divine presence with all his being. David's heartfelt pursuit serves as an example for all of us, as it reminds us of the importance of approaching God with a fervent spiritual hunger. As he beholds God's presence in the sanctuary, David is filled with a vision of divine power and glory. He understands that God's love is better than life itself and therefore his lips open to exalt him. David does not hesitate to bless the name of God and raise his hands in worship, acknowledging the greatness of the Lord. Psalm 63 also shows us David's devotion and intimacy with God. He declares that his soul clings to God, finding refuge and help in the protecting wings of the Most High. Even in the midst of difficulties and persecution, David finds comfort in the presence of God and sings with joy under the divine shadow. David recognizes God's sovereignty over his life and trusts in divine justice. He states that those who seek to take his life will fall into the locks of the earth, while the king will rejoice in God. David recognizes the importance of honoring the name of the Lord and sincerely praising him, while the mouths of liars will be stopped. In view of all the spiritual wealth present in Psalm 63, I invite all of you, my beloved brothers and sisters, to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and share this video with more people who need to hear the word of God. May Psalm 63 be a source of inspiration and encouragement to us all, reminding us of the importance of seeking the divine presence with all of our being. May God bless each one of you abundantly and may this psalm be a balm for our sedentary souls. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, now we are going to meditate on Psalm 63, and then we are going to say a prayer. Amen. O God, you are my God, I seek you intensely, my soul thirsts for you. My whole being yearns for you, in a dry, weary and waterless land. Indeed, I contemplate you in the sanctuary and see your power and your glory. Your love is better than life. Therefore my lips will exalt you. I will bless you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift my hands. How satisfied is my soul with lard and fat! And with jubilant lips, my mouth will praise you, when I remember you in my bed, and meditate on you in the watches of the night. Because it is my help, I sing for joy in the shadow of your wings. My soul clings to you, your right hand sustains me. But those who seek to take my life will fall into the locks of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become the prey of jackals. But the king will rejoice in God, all who swear by his name will praise God, but the mouths of liars will be stopped. Lord God, our Father, today we approach you to implore your mercy on all who are present here, O God. We know we are flawed, but in your presence we are strengthened to resist the temptations of the enemy and the desires of the flesh. Forgive, my God, that you forgive our sins and that you grant us a renewed heart, full of your presence, so that we can draw even closer to you, Lord. You are wonderful and merciful, O Lord. Therefore, I now enter your presence to strengthen our spiritual life with you, O Lord. Grant me salvation and restore life to every person here, O God. Visit your children who are sick in hospital beds and undo all the evil and every trap of the enemy, may they be annihilated in the name of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. O Christ, heal our wounds and deliver every son and daughter that is here, Lord. Free them from addictions, drugs and everything that does not please you, O Lord. 
It also frees our entire family from all evil. This is my supplication in the name of the Lord Jesus, so be it. Amen. Thank God. Our Father, who art in heaven. Blessed is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and power. Honor and glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. Dear brothers and sisters, as we come to the end of this reflection on Psalm 63, we are reminded of the deep spiritual thirst that dwells in our hearts. Like David, we are invited to seek God's presence intensely and constantly, recognizing that love and communion with the Father are better than anything else in this life. This psalm teaches us about the importance of clinging to God, finding refuge and safety in His protected wings. In it, we discover that, even in the midst of difficulties and adversity, we can rejoice in God, knowing that He is our helper and sustainer. Throughout this psalm, we are led to reflect on our personal devotion to God. David shows us that intimacy with the Lord is a source of refreshment for our sedentary soul. Meditating on God in the vigils of the night, remembering Him in our moments of rest, is a practice that strengthens our spiritual connection and keeps us steadfast in His presence. Psalm 63 also challenges us to recognize God's sovereignty in our lives. He reminds us that those who rose up against us will be defeated, while we, as faithful servants, will rejoice in the Lord's victory. May this confidence in divine justice strengthen us and encourage us to remain firm in our faith. I want to express my gratitude to each of you who took the time to follow along with this reflection. Thank you for staying until the end of the video, allowing the Word of God to touch your hearts. May this message from Psalm 63 inspire you to seek God with all your being and find the fullness of life He has in store for each of us. May this experience of meditating and reflecting on the Word of God bring us even closer to our Creator, strengthening our faith and involving our lives. May we share this message with others, spreading divine love and truth to those who also long to hear the Word of God. May the Holy Spirit continue to guide and empower us to live lives that glorify the name of the Lord. May the words of Psalm 63 settle in our hearts, fueling our pursuit of God and reminding us of His unconditional love for us. Once again, thank you for being here, for sharing this moment of communion and reflection. May the peace of God be with each of you and may His abundant love fill your lives every day. Amen.